What is up YouTube, NitroKid98, finally back with another video day, guys. I apologize, I haven't been able to make videos. Unfortunately, I've had some health concerns show up. Um, really put me out of the game for a little bit, made it where I couldn't make videos, couldn't work on the drag car, put me way behind, and um, cost me a good bit of doctor visits. But uh, fortunately, I'm doing a lot better now. Everything's going a little bit smoother. I still don't think I'm in the clear yet, but I'm, uh, I'm not gonna let that hold me back. I wanna get the drag car built, and um, I want to get videos back up because I know everybody's I actually had a couple people message me wondering where I've been and um, <laughs> I'm back. So anyways guys, um, every now and then we, we find a diamond in the rough. Those car guys find that one thing that's just awesome, great price, got what we need um, for just a lot less than what we'd have paid for and luckily I've found that diamond in the rough. Anybody that checks out the Nitro Kid 98 Facebook page, well they know what it is. Um, I posted this way in advance, they got to see it when it was being pulled behind the old Cummins here. And um, so I got really lucky with that, with this right here. And if you haven't checked the Nitro Canadian Facebook page, just pause this video real quick, go to Facebook, check it out, go ahead and hit the like button on it, and go ahead and hit the subscribe button either here or here. Go ahead and do that, because this drag car build is gonna blow your mind. This is gonna be one of them cars that I, I intend on breaking a lot of records with as far as the 428 community goes. So anyways, without further ado, here is my diamond in a rough. This right here is a $600 Eclipse that we picked up which um, is going to basically really, really, really take the drag car a step further. Now you're probably asking, why would you pick up another car if you're already working on one? Too many projects, bro. This is actually not a project. This one right here, unfortunately, is nothing more than a mere donor. And I'm about to show you exactly why this car became a donor. Now, this is my buddy Casey's car, which we just got home. Um, fortunately, I already got a lot of stuff sold to it. Um, as you can see right here, it originally there's a harness to where it originally had an AEM FIC. We've already sold that and parted out a couple other things, which gave me the free money to buy a Mega Squirt 2 with a V3 board and launch control, which we're going to be putting on the stop block 420A, so we can learn a little bit about it before we go putting in a built engine. Really get some you know data with it and really learn how to tune a little bit before we go throw it in a big setup and accidentally blowing up a lot more expensive stuff than just a stop block. But anyway, now at that point you're probably thinking, well, you know, you kind of got your 600 bucks back. Well, let me show you exactly the biggest reason I bought this car. We didn't even know the AEM FIC was going to come with it when we bought it. We bought it because of some of the parts that are actually already in it. Now, this right here has not BC, it actually has Crower titanium retainers with Crower Springs. Um, I'm a huge fan of Crower. I, I, I like Brian Crower, but don't get me wrong, if I get the option to go Crower or VC, I'm definitely gonna choose Crower every single time. Um, Crower is where it's at. I'm really happy with Crower. I've ran some of their stuff in the past. I absolutely love their stuff. Now, there's a lot more to this car than that. Um, they also comes with the 750cc uh, fuel injector and clinic um, injectors, which are pretty much brand new because we already got all this stuff done. The transmission blew, put a new transmission in it, and this and acted like it was going to do the same thing. And that's why he parked it and kind of gave up on it. Um, in the bottom end, it also has a Wiseco 8.8 to 1 piston attached to an Eagle H beam rod, which I think may have six to 7,000 miles on the block. It's got a tapped oil pan. We're not going to use that thing because I'm pretty sure that oil pan's dented. If it's not dented, we'll probably use it, but I still got a brand new one that I'm gonna tap anyway for the, the new setup. Um, and it's also got a brand new spec stage three clutch in it, non-modular setup with a Fidanza flywheel. So this this clutch is pretty much just broke in and it's gonna be able to hold all the power that we're gonna throw at it, even on what's going on with the built setup. We're actually gonna use the XTD on the stop block setup. And um, so it's got really everything that we need in it. And the cool thing is it also came with wheels that I'm going to be using on my clips on the drag car when the slicks are not on it that way we're not flattening out the slicks or putting excessive wear on them where we don't need to now unfortunately when all this stuff is taken off the car which as you can see i'm already kind of started taking stuff apart anyway this girl is going to get crushed i hate to do it please don't hate me for it um but it's got to be done um, i don't really need it but it did come with a lot of stuff that's going to help out the build and it even came with an antenna for the srt4 so i'm pretty excited about that like this little guy right here is gonna is gonna be big because I've been running a little cheapo antennas on the SRT and they suck. Which all I listen to is Bluetooth anyway. But at the same time, last time I went to a spray car wash, it blew the little antenna off. I guess the glue came undone to it. So it looked really cool until it went blowing through the pressure washer. Um, but anyway, 
This thing also comes with a full catback exhaust, um, an RS type with a titanium tip. So anybody that may want a um, catback exhaust, let me know. I may be selling this. Let me know where you're at. We'll talk shipping. Um, probably got about a week for I actually get this thing pulled off. Um, if anybody needs parts, um, I'm going to be parting it. Get you know, get as much use out of it as we can. I think I'm going to keep the door handles. I don't know. Let me know if you need a door handle, a side mirror, anything like that. And we'll we'll go from there. Um, it's also came with the other thing that I needed, which was a boost gauge. I was about to buy one of those, literally right before going picking this car up, and it's got a glow shift boost gauge, so we're good there. It uh, it does reek of mold and shame, though. It's 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 pretty bad. Actually, it's it's really bad. So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to make a video, let you know what we're up to. There will be more videos of me in the shop coming up soon. Now in the next video, I really want to get the actual transmission that's in the shop cleaned up, ready to go, get the XTD clutch on, or get the engine off the stand, XTD on to the fly, uh, flex plate, and then bolt all that together. I still need to actually work on the uh, oil feed and oil drain for the uh, stop lock setup, and then we'll be doing that. But those are kind of the videos that are going to be coming up soon. So um, let me know if... Uh, if you need uh, any of that stuff, and um, I got it, guys. So, anyway, guys, it's been Nitro Kid 98. Please like the video if you have any um, comments or questions or anything, guys. Drop them in the comment section below. This thing is definitely disagreeing with me. And um, don't forget to subscribe, Nitro Kid 98, guys. Thanks for watching. Where did that bee come from? <laughs>